a mangled bike on Milwaukee Avenue. That is all that's left after a 37 year old woman was hit and killed by a dump truck today. CBS 2 Stephen Graves says the crash happened just blocks from where he reported about possible lane changes, bike lane changes, just yesterday. The tires ripped off a twisted bike frame in the middle of the street. You can see one of the wheels was lodged underneath this large truck. Police shut down the scene of the fatal crash for hours this morning. They say the victim, a 37 year old woman, was in the bike lane riding south on Milwaukee Avenue. The truck was beside her and had a green light at the intersection with Kilbourne Avenue when the 21 year old driver made a right turn. Police say the woman was in his blind spot when the truck rolled over her. And you hear it on the news and it's in your backyard like this one is here. It definitely saddens you. Fidel Talavera owns Bacardi Bikes, which is close to the accident on Milwaukee. It's a street the city calls one of its busiest. The city is thinking about ideas to improve the bike lanes like adding barriers. The area of possible change is only about three miles from the fatal accident. Back at the scene, faded paint is all that indicates where there is a dedicated bike lane. It is everybody's responsibility. It makes me even more uh, defensive when I ride, and I'm sure anybody else. And hopefully drivers become more aware that there are cyclists on the street. This section of bike lane was installed in 2017. It's unclear whether the faded paint played a part in the accident, but we have yet to hear back about when the lines were last painted. Reporting in Old Irving Park, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. And it's unclear at this hour whether the driver will be given a ticket. The owner of the trucking company said it's been a dark day.